Unraveling the Art of Draping Fabrics in English. Hello, everyone, welcome to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of English phrases, specifically focusing on draping fabrics. This phrase might sound straightforward, but it's packed with nuances that are essential for English language learners to understand. Let's unwrap the layers of meaning and usage together. First, let's focus on the verb draping. Draping refers to the way a fabric hangs or falls. It's often used in fashion and interior design. For example, when a dressmaker designs a gown, they pay attention to how the fabric drapes on the body. Similarly, in interior design, how curtains drape can affect the room's aesthetic. In this section, we'll look at various examples to understand the usage of draping in different contexts. Now, let's explore fabrics. Fabrics are materials like cloth or textile, used in making clothes, curtains, and other items. Different fabrics have distinct qualities and draping characteristics. For instance, silk drapes differently from cotton. We will explore different types of fabrics and how their properties influence the way they drape. In this section, we'll see how draping fabrics is used in everyday language. This phrase isn't just limited to fashion or design. It can be used metaphorically as well. For example, someone might say, the morning light draped the room in a golden hue, describing how the light covers the room like a fabric. We'll explore more such metaphorical uses and understand the broader implications of this phrase. Draping fabrics also has cultural and artistic connotations. In this section, we will look at how this concept appears in different cultures and art forms. From Greek statues showcasing draped robes to traditional attire in various cultures, we'll understand the historical and cultural significance of draping fabrics. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of draping fabrics. We hope this video has shed light on this intriguing phrase and added a new dimension to your understanding of English. Remember, language is not just about words. It's about the ideas and images they evoke. Keep exploring, and see you in our next video.